fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Star Raptor. Welcome back to the channel. I am back in my home studio here last week. I did my reviews for all the comics actually at PAX East, the expo there, the convention in Boston. But I'm back to talk about one issue from Dark Horse today, and that is Star Wars The High Republic Adventures. This is Crash Landing. This is a one shot actually in phase three. This is written, of course, by Daniel Jose Alder with artwork by Rachel Ragna. And this one focuses on Crash Angwa, who we've seen in a couple of the issues of the High Republic Adventures, but she basically is a main character in Daniel Jose Alder's phase one book, which is Midnight Horizon, um, that had to deal with all the things going on in Corelli. And that's where we pick up in this issue. She's got a mission to hunt down all of these Nile sympathizers that were responsible for plunging her home planet of Corellia into war um, a year prior, around the time of the fall of Starlight Beacon. So we set up, she's got a crew of people um, that is managing the situation of going around. She finds this one character and she's planning everything around. There's this one character named Rue, who's a an ex-Padawan, who is a different kind of species. He's got a blue lightsaber. And there's a lot of action in the beginning, and they get to this informant, the sympathizer, and he's saying that he is not the one they should be looking for. They should be looking for the real leader that orchestrated everything, and that is Crick's camera. And we know him from phase one of the High Republic Adventure comics. He was one of the clansmen that grew up with Zine Morala on that one planet, Trimant 4. And so that he's been a big villain, a big character in phase one of the High Republic Adventure. So it's cool that he is now taking the center stage. So from that point on, we go back to Riyadu, and this is really cool because this is where the crossover begins between this book and I think it was the High Republic Adventures issue number three where they're all on Iradu and you have Sfino, who is uh, the lover of Crash, and then you have Lula Tal. So everybody's there and we have a different perspective of what's happening in the cantina. And it's really cool seeing these different point of views of everything. And we find out, they get the information that, you know, Kirk's Camerad is held in a Republic prison. So then we have Crash that goes there thinking that she's going to kill him, right? She's getting revenge on all these people. He's the one that's the highest up. That's going to be it. He's going to be the last one, and she's going to be done with her mission, and she and Sfino can go off into the horizon and enjoy their lives. So when she gets there to bust him out, she has different thoughts because apparently he's all got this plan in his head that if he gets broken out of this prison to work as a Republic uh, informant, he's got a way of getting back to... Uh, Markeon Rowe, who he was kind of like the protege of at one point, to basically poison, kill him, and basically make peace between the Nile and the Republic. So when Crash hears that, she decides that instead of killing him, he's actually doing the same thing as she wants. She wants to get back at all of these Nile. So she basically recruits him, kind of. Well, she gets him out of the Republic base, right? Crash is not supposed to be there. So the Republic people are all mad. All the personnel, the guards are after him. And they get away, and that's really where this issue ends. And what's really cool when I say this issue ends, because we have to be continued in another issue. So I'm very curious about this one. It's going to be called Crash and Burn, another one, one shot coming out in August. But yeah, I really enjoyed this issue. We haven't seen this much from this character of Crash, who is actually, funny enough, based off of the writer of the Dr. Afra Glad Winning Award series, and that is... Alyssa Wong. So he got this great representation of Alyssa Wong as this character basically of Crash Angua in the High Republic. And she's also a writer. They are also a writer of the High Republic. Alyssa Wong has written um, some different things in, in this universe. So it's really cool to see that. Um, getting back into this story, I really liked how there's such ties to Midnight Horizon. We have a character uh, with political background, this Buckwell guy who is also telling uh, telling Crash this information. So it's a lot of maneuvering about, hey, if there's a vacuum in the power of Corellia, then the Nile are going to sweep in. If they get the core planet that is Corellia, the Nile are really going to cause problems. So there's a lot of going back and forth between Rue and that. And, and crash and i like how rue has these different eyes and is able to mesmerize people looking into his into his eyes so a lot of good stuff here the one thing i didn't like is the artwork i do not care for the artwork 
it just didn't really jive with me and right art is so subjective so maybe i didn't like it but maybe you do but overall i really like this issue it was a nice surprise and i'm looking forward to the continuation of where this goes right chris camera is just a big character in a high republic adventure so to actually see him take center stage finally because i was wondering when he was going to come back in i didn't expect him to come back into a one shot with crash angua but there you have it for more on star wars you're already in the right place go ahead and subscribe to this channel i have my vlog of pax east 2024 so if you want to see more about what i did there go ahead and check that out i also updated my blog i have a writing a blog about that trip as well so go ahead and check out starraptor.substack dot com for the latest on that well until next time that's gonna do it for me sir Arthur. thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel it helps support me and it notifies you guys of when i get new videos up on the channel you can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Star Raptor.